Namaste everyone and welcome back to Live Stronger. Today we are going to work on our push strength again. This time I'm going to switch the program a little bit, make few changes. I somehow feel that I'm a bit plateauing. So let's make few changes and get going. Let's add more volume, a little bit more intensity. So straight away I'm going to start with the greatest stretch, five repetitions each side as usual this is not going to change this is my favorites and i'm always going to do this before starting my exercise no matter which body part i'm going to work with as recommended earlier also by me if you're not going to do this particular stretch pre-workout you can also do this workout as soon as you get up or before going to your bed because this ensures unlocking your body's mobility you can also perform this particular stretch as a static stretch post a, any of the body workouts so but yes i do perform it as a dynamic stretch wherein i go through the movement holding only for two to three seconds at a stretch and then switch to my deep squat the mandatory deep squat for the day make sure you push your glutes as far behind as possible feel the stretch in your hamstrings before you start bending your knees and then go and sit in a deep squat for a few seconds and that's it with our stretching bit of the day let's begin with our exercises so the first exercise i'm going to do is a flat bench press here for the first set i'm going to take a just challenging enough weight and try to get 15 repetitions out of it making sure i get enough blood flow into my muscles now one of the important things while you're doing a press is to make sure you don't flare out your elbows too much. They shouldn't be beside your shoulders or they shouldn't be tucked in too much because if they're tucked in, they're working your tricep. If they're flared out, the weight is on your shoulders. You just want them in between and also keep the elbows as straight as possible. This ensures least amount of involvement from your triceps and your chest will always be engaged throughout the moment. Now, after completing 15 repetitions with a good amount of weight, I switched to the heaviest weight I could control for 6 repetitions. So, that was around 30 kilos. So, I got 6 repetitions out of it with the flat bench press. Now, I would recommend to go heavier, but at the same time, make sure you're able to control the weight for the 6 repetitions. If you're failing at 5, that's absolutely fine. But if you're able to get 10 out of it, that means you have undershot. So make sure next time you choose or for the next set, try to get a weight which is heavier where you can fail at 6. For my next 2 sets, I increased the incline of the bench slightly, the least amount, just by 15 degrees and did another 2 sets of six repetitions with again a challenging weight to get going grow stronger by now my chest was full of blood and i got a good amount of pump so post completing my incline bench press i moved on to a body weight exercise wherein i started doing dips with a slight in uh, basically inclining slightly forward creating that stretch on my chest muscles Yes, you would feel a lot of activation in your shoulders, in your triceps. That's absolutely normal. But make sure you incline as much as for, uh, possible forward. Four sets, 10 repetitions. If you're not able to do dips, you can do away with push-ups. Again, four sets, 10 repetitions. Post completing my dips, I moved on to chest flies on the chest fly machine. Now, this time, instead of just sitting down, I basically leaned back as much as possible. I saw a few videos wherein people were trying this out and i felt i could try this out and it felt amazing the amount of stretch and contraction i was able to get through this was really good so i would continue doing this basically you just lean back as much as possible push your chest forward and start doing the reps now i have done four sets of these the first three sets i was getting 15 to 12 repetitions with a good challenging amount of weight as challenging as possible wherein i fail at 12 repetitions now for the last set i had to rep it out all of it so 30 repetitions so the weight had to decrease so that i could get through 30 repetitions but as you can see in the video i start struggling as soon as i start 
hit the 15 rep mark but somehow I managed to push through it and my chest was completely flared up there was a lot of blood and I was unable to get through the reputations but somehow I pushed through it hope you're going to do the same but yes need to get that 30 reputations out somehow make sure you lean back to get the maximum amount of contraction post completing that chest workout I moved on to my tricep workout I started out with tricep kickups so basically in this exercise you take a cable and try to pull it from beside your body like as if you're pulling a sword out so but making sure your wrist is facing down so you have an internal rotation in your shoulder and from here you try to pull the cable up at a good challenging amount of weight this particular exercise works a lot of your triceps lateral muscles or the lateral head now there is no rest in between the three sets so basically you're switching from one arm to the other arm three times 15 repetitions as quickly as possible as you can see in the video i just keep switching in between there is no amount of rest and i move on to my next set immediately the internal rotation of the shoulder really helps to kick up the tricep lateral head and as you can see the range of motion it's like pulling the sword out from this beside your body yes the cable will rub against your body but that's absolutely fine they it wouldn't cause you any kind of damage because mostly the cable will run over your clothes the important part is not to take a break and keep going after every set by now your tricep would be really worked up and you should be starting you should start to feel a lot of soreness a lot of tightness because of the chest work yes we try to exclude the tricep as much as possible in our chest workouts but with those dips and bench presses there might be a lot of activation or a little bit activation in your triceps so by this exercise they would start getting sore or start getting tighter full of blood but i enjoyed it as you can see it was tough for me to get those or get the cable high up but i kept going so make sure you do the same if you're unable to do this particular exercise you can also do a regular kickbacks with the cable but i would recommend you to try this particular exercise out a very effective one worked greatly for me make sure you kick the cable as high as possible with your hand to get that maximum amount of contraction post completing this kick ups i moved on to a regular tricep overhead extension but on an inclined bench with coupled with couple of failure sets so i have done basically 15 repetitions three times but i did not stop at 15 repetitions what i have done is i immediately br brought the barbell a little bit forward and got few other angles of failures as i will show you in this particular video how i go about it so as you can see regular overhead extensions slightly kind of a partial range of motion 15 repetitions so once i was done with the 15 repetitions i immediately bring the barbell over my head and start doing the regular skull crushers again partial range of motion and once i failed in those i took the barbell again behind my head and tried to get a close range overhead extensions so here as you can see i immediately switched to skull crushers partial range of motion keeping my triceps engaged all this time and here your tricep will start failing quickly you will start feeling an extreme amount of burning sensation in your triceps and that's the way we want to go and once i start failing there i moved the barbell behind my head and tried to get few more repetitions and once you hit failure that's set one so we do that thrice for first two exercises i was able to go through the 15 kilo barbell but in the second set i realized i was falling short or i was failing too quickly so i dropped the weight to a 10 kilo fixed weight barbell now you can choose to load the barbell as you prefer with the preferred amount of weight try the first set out see how it works and then load or unload accordingly for the second and third set but make sure you get the first 15 repetitions 
by doing the overhead extensions on the incline setup like I am doing here and then once completing the 15 repetitions you move on to your skull crushers for failure regular skull crushers with a partial range of motion you don't need to get the bubble all the way high up and once you fail there take it behind your head and try to get few more repetitions out post completing this particular tricep work i moved on to a straight bar push downs again three sets now for the first part of each set you do 20 repetitions at the partial range of motion by leaning a little bit forward as you can see how i'm doing here not completely extending my elbow, not completely let, letting the straight bar come up. Partial range of motion. After completing 20 repetitions, I stand up straight and go for full range of motion until I hit failure or I'm really fatigued. So as you can see in the video, pretty simple. And we have to do this thrice. So load the weight accordingly. By now your triceps should be on fire. They should be completely full of blood, pumped up with an amazing, uh, you know, pump. But yes, we need to keep pushing. We need to get those two sets more out of them. So you take the weight accordingly. Straight bar is important. Don't take a rope attachment. That would defeat the purpose a little bit. Use the straight bar itself to get those partial repetitions. And once you're done with 20 partial repetitions, you stand up straight and go for the full range of motion until you hit failure for the set. As you're doing this particular exercise, make sure your elbows stay fixed. Try not to involve your traps and your shoulders much. Let the triceps do all the amount of work, especially when you're doing the full range of motion towards failure. You tend to push your shoulders forward and use your trap muscles. So try to focus, keep your elbows locked basically and let those elbows stay beside your body and not move forward. That would eliminate any kind of shoulder involvement. Post completing my straight bar push downs, I moved on to my core work wherein I have done the hanging leg raises again using a barbell to support my upper back and reduce the amount of swinging momentum which I get. I've done three sets of these, 10 repetitions. Remember, we need to get our hips turning upwards, basically getting our butt cheeks in front of us, crunching that abdomen of ours. Yes, this would be quite challenging post completing an extremely uh, efficient and high intensity chest and tricep workout, but we do have to finish our core workout too. Now, if you're unable to do this, you may go ahead and do lying down leg raises or crunches but choose a core workout and make sure you do those for three sets 10 repetitions leg raises are the absolute best post completing my leg raises i was done with my exercises so i moved on to my static stretches so for my static stretches it's a regular one taking a lightweight pvc pipe or stretching out my arms holding it and letting it go behind my head and feeling the stretch in my chest muscles as I abduct my hands away from the midline of my body. Make sure you hold for at least 15 to 20 seconds. Do it a couple of times. Feel the stretch before we move on to our next stretch. You may also do it thrice, but if you feel any kind of discomfort or tightness, I would recommend just massaging your pec muscles Usually, the tightness would be near to your shoulder muscle if you have used your friend delts a lot more, but otherwise you should be fine. So post completing the chest stretch, I moved on to my regular tricep stretch wherein I knee down, place my elbows on the bench and drop my head in between my hands and do the stretch. So that's it for today. Thank you so much for joining me. If you did like the video, please do drop a like. If you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, I would appreciate a sub. Any feedback in comments, I would definitely respond. I hope this workout was as intense for you as it was for me and we'll keep pushing the same way forward. Thank you again and I'll see you in the next video. Have a good day.